Hey y'all, Tom, ND3N here, and thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. Uh, most hams are not going to be really concerned with what I'm going to talk about uh, in this video. Oh, I don't got a right to be concerned. As it is directed specifically towards prospective hams who are planning on taking the tech exam soon. However, I do encourage everyone, regardless of the status of their license, uh, to stick around for the video as I'm giving out what I think is pretty good information that you might be able to pass along to our prospective members of our hobby. Uh, every two years, one of the test elements, technician, general, and extra, are updated by deleting outmoded questions, adding questions to keep up with the state of the art, and changing questions to better reflect the current understandings. Uh, this year, 2022, the technician exam is, shall we say, on the chopping block. Always room for another head on the chopping block. Now in two years, it'll be the general class, and that'll be updated. Two years after that, the extra class. That means that the current technician class exam will no longer be used after June 30th and the new tech test will be effective July the 1st and will be used for four years after that. The organization that manages these question pools is the National Council of Volunteer Examiner Coordinators. That's a terrific title! And after reviewing the 2022 version of the tech questions, I can tell you uh, they've made quite a few changes. 64 questions were removed outright and replaced with 51 new questions. And now uh, that adds up of a total of 412 questions in the question pool. He talks like a calculator. On top of uh, the ones they removed and added, they have updated 136 questions. Questions, questions, too many questions. Now, for those of you with calculators, you'll see that almost half of the questions are different in the new pool than in the current one. The format of the question pool remains the same. The technician element is divided into 10 sub-elements. Each sub-element is divided into multiple groups, which contains the standard forms of a question with four possible answers. Uh, only one of these answers will be the correct one. There can only be one. The other three are called distractors. There are a total of 35 groups of questions in the question pool and one question from each group will be randomly selected. Now you know that you must not miss more than nine questions in order to pass the test. On a side note, in the grand scheme of things it makes absolutely no difference whether you ace the test or squeak by. You're a ham. You're one of us, and you're going to be welcome into the family. Now, let me give you an example. This is going to be boring. Of what I was talking about with groups and sub-elements and stuff like that before. Uh, sub-element 2 to the technician exam is called T2 and has an overarching flavor of operating procedures. Now, it is broken down into three groups, and they are labeled T2A, T2B, and T2C. Group T2A currently has 12 questions covering station operation, choosing an operating frequency, calling another station, test transmissions, procedural signs, use of minimum power, choosing an operating frequency, band plans, calling frequencies, and repeater offsets. Now, out of all those possible topics, there'll be one question on your exam that will be randomly selected from the group. This is repeated for each group 
of questions. So, with slightly less than three months until the new question pool comes into effect, you have some time to decide if you want to take the current test or wait until July 1st and take the updated question pool. The decision was made a long time ago. Now that's a decision that only you can make, but the main purpose of this video is to make you aware of the upcoming change so you don't get surprised. You, know, you go to, you know, you've been studying hard, you got the study guides, you got all that sort of stuff, and you're really ready to nail it, and you walk in on July 2nd and go, what the, hmm? Well, uh, yeah, that's, that's why I'm putting this out now. So you, you will know that it's coming, and you can take time to decide whether to take the current exam or take a little, like, you know, you got three months. Uh, so take three months to study for the uh, new question pool. Now, I've put a link to the new question pool, uh, which will be effective the 1st of July. I'll keep hitting that. Uh, and uh, this will be a link of all the questions, all the distractors. It will be broken down by the sub-element, the group, and you'll be able to count the number of questions in there. And I've also put a link to the current question pool, uh, as well as several Amazon links for current study guides. I expect that there will be study guides in the near future for the new question pool, but this new question pool has just been posted, just been made public, so it's gonna take a little while for all the authors of the different uh, study guides to actually come out and say, yes, now, this is this is the information we're going to present. Here's how we're going to present it. Do all that stuff. My recommendation is the ARRL study guide, as it not only helps you with the questions, but also gives you the theory in and practical applications behind the questions. Now you can purchase these guides from just about every ham radio online retailer and from other rate websites, such as the ARRL site. But, if you purchase using the links in the video description, I, I will get a small commission from Amazon. Uh, this does not change the cost to you one iota, but it does help to defray the cost of making these videos. Thanks for dropping by my little shack in the corner for a ham shack chat. I hope you've got some good information out of this, and if so, please give me a like. Please share. Sharing is fun. This content with your friends who may be thinking about getting into ham radio and especially on social media sites. Please leave a comment. Questions? Comments? With any questions or just to say howdy. And please consider subscribing. Sorry, you already subscribe. I certainly would appreciate it. As always, I'm at your service. I'm Tom, ND3N, and I'm out.